Hey everybody, it's Ivani. Welcome back to my channel. Unless you're new, then welcome for the first time. And I hope you'll stick around. I create content on all things beauty, such as beauty reviews. And I also create videos on lifestyle, just anything that could be helpful for you guys, for me. And yeah, I just like to have fun. So hopefully you enjoy today's video. I'm so excited because I am finally doing another review. I know it has taken me forever to get another review out. I've had so many plans, which is really hard to get those up. I don't know why. But I know you'll forgive me. Also, if you are not new here and you just so happen to notice a change in background, not that this is like all glamorous or anything like that. I am clearly not in my room. I am actually all the way in a different country. I am in Costa Rica. You probably knew that from reading the title. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in the title or not. Probably, who knows, I may change my mind. <laughs> but yes, I am currently in Uvita in Costa Rica. You're probably like, Imani, why are you out there? That is so random, what's going on? To be honest, it is random. <laughs> I'm a person who never travels, not on purpose, of course. I would love to travel more. From past jobs and just not really finding the time before to make time for me and travel, you know, see the world. I really want to dedicate this year to doing just that. I haven't even really traveled in the States. So this is a really big step for me to travel to a whole different country and experience this all new world, to be honest. It, it honestly feels like I'm on a different planet in a way. <laughs> Everything is different here, but everybody here is super nice. I've met some really, really nice people so far from being here and um, I'm having a really great time. It's extremely hot here. So if you don't like heat, I wouldn't recommend Costa Rica is not a place where you go to be in a snow lodge and ski down the mountain. No, 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 no. Costa Rica is a place for surfing, hang gliding, and exploring nature, just being outside in the sun, relaxing in paradise. That, that's what Costa Rica is about. So I am currently in the apartment I've been staying at. I've only been here for two days now, <laughs> two, three days now. And I was actually thinking of doing a little tour for you guys, but I actually changed my mind because I am unfortunately going to be moving out of this one and into a different apartment, which it's not bad in any way. I do love it. Um, it's really nice. We're, um, actually up in the mountains. There's tons of trees and nature. I actually don't know if you guys can hear like any birds or anything in the background. Sorry if that's distracting, but there are a ton up here and there's a lot of nature sounds. So um, it's gonna sound like that in some of my videos. So I'm so sorry if that's distracting. Hopefully um, it's actually more soothing to you guys. I actually really like it. Sorry, I keep rambling, but anyways, it's not bad in any way, but it's actually really far from town. So, um, it's a little hard for me to have sustainability <laughs> when I'm this far from town and I don't have a car here. My car is back home. So I actually have to get around by just walking or taxi. And that is a pain in the butt because obviously a taxi is kind of expensive and walking in this kind of heat is like a death sentence. <laughs> so I'm sure people out here are used to it, but coming from California where the weather is just all over the place, uh, I'm not used to this consistent heat and just walking in scorching hot, humid weather <laughs> because that's exactly what it is here. I sound like such a princess or something. Who do I think I am? But you got Hopefully you guys know what I mean. I, I just, my body isn't used to it. So it, it's a lot on me. And I've already gotten pretty burnt. I don't know if you guys can see, look at that. Look at that. Do you guys see that line? I got so sunburned yesterday. I didn't put on any sunblock. It just, <laughs> and usually I don't burn that easily because I have a lot of melanin in my skin. So I usually just get like tan, but this time I feel like I got burnt. It actually hurts. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna be putting on some aloe to uh, soothe that. But anyway, I'm gonna be moving out of here into a place that is closer to town so that I'm able to get around a lot easier and I'm not spending all this money on getting a taxi. But I knew I definitely wanted to get some videos up for you guys while I'm out here. Once I do move into my new place, I will definitely give you guys a tour of that. But um, for now, like I don't really see a point because I'm, I'm leaving this one anyway. So let's get back into the video what you guys came for. Obviously from the title, you saw that I'm actually doing a review on the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. Here's what it looks like out of the box. And let me tell you guys, I am in love with this foundation's packaging. Like this is beautiful. I don't think I've seen, well, I, not that I can remember at least, a foundation bottle with a nude colored cap. I think that is so pretty. Usually with foundations, it's just like a black cap or like a, you know, whatever other color. <laughs> but nude is so new. Like I never see that or tan, whatever you beige, whatever you'd call it. And it's like nice and kind of short and stumpy. Like it's really cute packaging, but it's still sleek at the same time. It just has that beautiful makeup forever vibe, you know? Makeup forever, use me as your spokesperson. I have to be completely honest with you guys. I was not planning on testing out this foundation. I was not a huge fan of the the last one, just the regular HD foundation. I mean, I guess this is a new foundation, like its own foundation, but to me it feels like they kind of keep 
releasing the same one or like reformulating it and like changing the name a little bit or tweaking the formula a little bit and just re-releasing it. I don't know. It's just kind of strange because if you guys remember, there was actually another original HD foundation. Not talking about the stick one. I know they had the stick version and the original HD. They had a one before the very last one that they had. I don't know if any of you guys remember or if you'll know what I'm talking about, but that one just had like a solid black cap. If I can find a picture anywhere online, I'll insert it right here for you guys. That one was loved by so many. I remember wanting that foundation so badly, but at the time I couldn't afford it. I never, ever, ever got to try it. But a lot of people I knew and a lot of YouTubers, they would always wear that foundation and say they absolutely loved it. It looks so good on their skin. I guess they reformulated that to the one that came just before this one. They reformulated the original formula and kind of made it a little bit thinner or something like that. And this one had still a black cap, but like a silver lining around the cap. That's the one I didn't really like. So I was really, really bummed out. Now they released this one, the HD Skin Foundation. So you see where like my confusion is, I don't know if this is just like a reformulation of the one that was reformulated from the original or if this is like its own foundation. I, I guess it's its own, I don't know. But <laughs> they're all called HD, so not gonna lie. I have seen a few reviews because like I said, I wasn't sure that I was going to review this. I don't like to be one of those people that are like biased against a brand because one of their products didn't work out for me, you know. I will still try other products and see how they perform. So I'm gonna be putting this on, I'm going to demo it, and then I'm also going to be giving you guys a little wear test so you can see how it performs on me. And that way you can have somewhat of an idea of if you did want to try out this foundation or not. So far I have only worn this foundation once and that was actually on my sister's birthday. Her birthday was on March 7th. So not that long ago, it actually wore very, very beautifully for me. It lasted all night. I had it on from morning time till late, late at night. I had, I didn't get home until about, I would say 11 or 12 o'clock. So it was extremely late and surprise, surprise, the foundation was still in place, still on my face, didn't look super greasy, didn't look shiny or anything like that. It looked really good. Keep in mind before um, watching this wear test, I have pretty normal to maybe combination skin. It, it can have little dry patches from time to time, but it doesn't get super oily and it's also not insanely dry. It's just kind of like right in the middle, but mostly normal. And also keep in mind the environment I am in right now. It's extremely humid and hot here, like I mentioned before. That may affect the wear test today, who knows? So I'm, I'm literally putting this to the ultimate test just for you guys, because I wouldn't do this to myself on any other day. <laughs> To prep my skin this morning, I actually just used the Polish Choice Skin Perfecting Exfoliant. This stuff has been amazing at exfoliating my skin. It makes it very, very glowy. So you can see I kind of got some dew going on right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on into the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. This one is in the shade 2Y36. I guess it was previously called Y365. This color may not be my exact color, but we are gonna make it work. <laughs> it does come with a pump, by the way. I'm going to just pump, probably like a pump and a half on my hand, as you do. So about that much. I'm gonna take this Eco Tools blush brush and just dip into that. I'm gonna start kind of stippling that on. And as I mentioned previously, I'm not really a sponge kind of girl, so I don't typically use a beauty blender or like a makeup sponge too often. I really like to use brushes. I, I don't really love sponges, but I think I am going to start trying to incorporate a sponge just so you guys can see um, the different application techniques and see how it works that way. And actually, I don't really love how this one's applying, so I'm gonna switch it out. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush and see how it looks. It's already looking really, really pretty on my skin. I think it's a pretty good match. Like in person, it looks, so I'm looking at my mirror down here. It looks a bit, I just can't really tell if I'm totally blown away by the color or not. I feel like it has a little too much warmth to it. I'm just going in on the other side. So you guys can see. It has really, really good coverage. I wouldn't say it's a full by any means. I would say it's more of like a good, Kind of medium coverage. I think you can achieve a full coverage with this. I'm not gonna put that many layers on because again, the environment I'm in, I just don't want a lot of heavy foundation on my face right now. Not that this feels heavy, but you know what I mean? I don't wanna put too many layers on because it might just be a little too much for the heat. And really less is more in hot weather. Um, I'm just putting on a tiny bit more. This time I'm just gonna take my finger and dot on the areas I've still feel like I can use a little more coverage. Also, as I said in previous videos as well, I don't like to put foundation on my forehead. I just feel like it's not necessary. I don't really have much to cover up there. I feel like I can always just bronze that area and it works really well on its own. So yeah, that's just me though. You do whatever you usually do. Maybe zoom you guys in a bit. 
So this is what the foundation is looking like with one layer. Well, one and like a half <laughs> since I like did build up in certain areas that I needed to. Yeah, this is what it's looking like. I think it looks really, really pretty on the skin. It does look pretty undetectable right now. Like right now, if I didn't tell you I had makeup on, if you're somebody who's not too familiar with makeup, maybe you wouldn't be able to tell. Maybe so, who knows? Some people have incredible eyes. <laughs> I think it looks really good, right? And I do feel like this foundation sets pretty well on its own. It does have kind of like a self-setting quality to it. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't feel like you need too much powder with this. And on my hand, it already looks like it's kind of like set in place. You know what I mean? Like it's not really budging. So that's good. It definitely has more of a, I guess like a natural finish to it. Like it's not dewy, but it's also not matte either. It's just kind of right in between. I guess that's why they call it HD skin because it's supposed to mimic your skin. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna skip ahead and do the rest of my face and I will be right back to show you guys how this looks at the end. All right guys, I am back. Here is the finished face. This is what we are looking like. It's looking really, really good. Um, skin looks very healthy, very smooth, very glowy. I will tell you the products I used on my face today. So for concealer, I just used my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. This is actually a new one, but um, my old one's all messed up, so I don't wanna show you that one. But yeah, so I used that one in the shade Medium Honey. Um, for bronzer, I actually tried something new. I used this Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder, no powder, and this is in the shade four. It's not actually meant to be a bronzer, but uh, makeup has no rules, so. We do what we want around here. Okay. For blush, I use this ColourPop Pressed Powder Blush in the shade Swirled. It's just this really pretty pinky tone. And I did throw on a little bit of highlighter, my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight. This is one of my all-time favorites. To set my under eyes and the rest of my face, I just used my Wet n Wild Bare Focus Powder, and this is in the shade Medium. And all I did for my lips is I really just put on a brown lip liner, and I used the Essence Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Summer Punch. And yeah, that's pretty much it for what's on my face. So now I just wanted to go over with you guys um, a little bit of the details of the foundation since I didn't really do that in the beginning. I will have a little bit of the description on screen, but I'm also going to be reading from Sephora's website. So this foundation is an undetectable liquid foundation that blurs and covers imperfections for up to 24 hours. I don't wear my foundation for 24 hours, so I won't be testing that claim. But uh, if you do, then you know you're covered. Or actually, I guess you'll know at the end of this review to see if it slipped off my face and whatnot. Maybe you're not covered, but uh, we'll see how long it lasts. Powered by micro skin system that syncs with the skin for a true skin finish, which I definitely agree with. It looked very skin-like, very natural, nothing heavy or cakey. So I guess that's the true to skin finish. The coverage is medium, the finish is natural. Course. This formulation includes micro skin system, which follows skin's movement, provides immediate high correction, and smooths the skin, which I pretty much agree with, with the smooth skin part. I don't know about the high correction, maybe. I do have a lot of freckles and like pigmentation on my cheeks, so I don't really know if it corrected them, but it covered pretty well. Has vegetable origin glycerol, which helps to improve the initial moisturization of the skin during the 24 hour period, and exopolysaccharide, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. It helps for the radiance of complexion during the 24 hour period. Yeah, I mean, it seemed pretty radiant. It seemed like a natural finish and it was pretty smoothing. So like, I guess I agree with that. This new and improved version of the Ultra HD foundation. Oh my God, so yeah, it is like a new formulation of it again. Why do they keep doing this? I wonder why. It's powered by technology that enhances performance and undetectability. For skin that looks like skin under any light, comfortable and easy to apply, this medium to full coverage foundation flexes with the skin for no caking or settling into lines. We'll see about that because your girl has deep set my lines. So when I cheese like that, rest assured, rest assured, they will be there. So let's see if this foundation can combat those. <laughs> Apparently it's also vegan, non-comedogenic, waterproof, sweatproof, and comes in more sustainable packaging. Sorry about the banging upstairs. And this foundation goes for $43 on Sephora's website. Pretty up there in high end, pretty expensive. But yeah, friends, so this is what we are starting with. I think it looks really, really good right now. We will see if it continues to look this way throughout the day. I will definitely keep you guys updated for a midday check-in, and I will also show you what it looks like at the end of the day. By the way, it feels super, super lightweight on the skin. It does not feel heavy at all. I don't feel it. It doesn't feel like I have anything on, so. Win-win. It is currently 11.43 in the morning. I am going to check back in with you guys in a few hours. Later. Hey guys, so I am checking in. It is, what time is it, Bob? Uh, a little before five. Okay, so it's 4.52 right now. Um, we just, <laughs> I'm out of breath because we just crossed like this little river thing and we were climbing over rocks. And I literally fell in. No, I'm just kidding, I didn't fall in. <laughs> I dumped it out. Um, <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? But yeah, so I just wanted to stop in and let you know how the foundation is doing. Tell them the sun went away. Yeah, it's pretty cloudy outside. I don't know if you guys can see. 
Yeah, so it's it like may a, rain. It's like a cool breeze that comes in when it gets yeah, cloudy. He he knows the um, so come here. How does how does um my makeup look? Am I looking crusty? Am I looking fabulous like usual? You Just kidding. Pretty. Yeah, you look really pretty. Oh, thank you. Okay, so. So I got the stamp of approval for that. It doesn't look bad. Um, I will say, let me see. I think it's settling just a little bit in my smile lines, but I'm not greasy anywhere and it hasn't like broken apart. It's still on. I think it does oxidize a little bit. So it has oxidized maybe like half a shade, but it still matches. Like I don't look, I don't look like, you know, two different colors or anything like that. But yeah, it's looking really, really good. I think right now we're on our way to get something to eat and find some air conditioning and some Wi-Fi because it's really hard to do that out here. <laughs> yeah, I will check in with you guys later. I am back. <laughs> it hasn't been that long of a day. It does feel like it for me though because I've been out all day. <laughs> for you guys it probably doesn't seem that long. But unfortunately I am ready to take this makeup off because I'm gonna go night swimming and um, I just wanna kind of like have everything off and I just wanna chill. But let's check in on how the foundation is looking. I have not touched up all day long. I didn't do anything. This is my skin. Let me take a look first and then I will get a little closer so you guys can see. Okay, so we are not too shabby actually. Honestly, there is some glowiness coming through. I don't think I look greasy. In my opinion, I don't feel like I look greasy. There's a little bit of, yeah, so you can see it. But it doesn't like feel, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it doesn't feel greasy. Like I feel pretty good, like I'm comfortable. Needless to say, it is a little bit shiny. <laughs> Other than that, it wore extremely well. I don't see anywhere where it has particularly rubbed off um, besides maybe my nose, but I feel like foundation always kind of rubs off of my nose first, but everywhere else is still intact and it looks really really good actually. I don't know what do you guys think? I think it looks great actually. I, I honestly could go a few more hours like this like I'm not kidding it looks great. As for my smile lines I do feel like it has creased just a little bit but a lot less than other foundations have on me and the funny thing is it's mostly just it's mostly just on this side right here maybe I can zoom you in a little bit. There you go. So you can see that pretty well. And sorry about my crusty lips. Like I have like a ouchie right there. <laughs> it's just not looking pretty, but we're here to look at the foundation, not my lips, okay? And closer up, it does look a little bit shinier, but I mean, you can see the foundation is still on. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look like heavy or cakey. I think it just looks kind of dewy. Around my nose is a little bit shiny. Um, it hasn't transferred. It's looking really good. Um, yeah, so it's mostly on this side creasing, but on this one, not so much actually, which is kind of odd. I don't know why it only creased on one side. I guess this is my deeper smile line side. Every foundation is usually going to crease in my smile lines. Now it just depends on which one is going to do it the least. And this is one of those ones that doesn't do it too bad. So I think we got a winner. So yeah guys, to sum it all up, I really, really like this foundation. I think it's a really good foundation. I think the color turned out pretty well. Like it doesn't look bad. Like you don't really see a difference between my neck and my face. I think it held really well throughout the day. And even the lot, like I said in the beginning, like even the last time I wore it, it was really, really good. And it lasted me the whole night. Let you guys know an update if anything changes. But as of right now, I really, really like the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. She's good. She's real good. She's our friend. She's welcome to the club. She can sit with us. I really really hope you guys enjoyed this review and demo of the HD skin foundation let me know you guys thoughts what do you guys think does it look good or do you think it looks like trash <laughs> let me know down below and have you tried this foundation what are your thoughts on it how do you feel it works for you I would love to know I love 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 talking to you guys like it makes me so happy when you guys comment on my video because I love responding I am responding to every single comment um, and I greatly appreciate it because it shows that you have some feedback for my video and I love feedback good or bad all is welcome <laughs> thank you guys so much much for watching. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and go ahead and hit that subscribe button because if you made it this far, then that means you probably like me and you like my videos and I want us to be friends, okay? I want, I want you to be here all the time. And also subscribe for more videos like this because I will have more reviews uh, coming soon. I hope you are all well. I hope you're having a fantastic day or night wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!